My name is Steve Wooten, and I'm the CEO and founder of Wu10, and we develop training and process solutions to improve your performance. We have 25 plus years of instructional design experience, ranging from oil and gas, nuclear, healthcare, biopharma, Department of Defense, and Department of Energy. So the big thing that we learned about our business through CEO mindset was that, um, you know, how to refine our target market. So to look out there and say, here are the services that we can offer everybody um, and to see all the potential clients out there, but then to really look, take a, an objective look at them and say, here is the niche market that we could serve really, really, really well and to go out for those clients rather than just blanketing the field with proposals. Traditionally, our clients were stuck with instructor-led courses where they would bring people in four or five days to learn about something hands-on, and that just doesn't happen anymore. And so this is where we really looked into kind of our heart of hearts and said, here are services that we can provide our clients where we can get them from this five-day hands-on portion to something that can be done virtually. We're more focused and we're more intentional about the things that we're actually personally taking on as tasks. Um, one of the great things that Julianne stressed is, you know, automate, delegate, and eliminate. Um, and what is the value of my time worth? And so when we look at what, when I look at what, what is in front of me for the day, I think, is that the best use of my time? And then secondly, and this is my favorite one, is does it even need to be done? Can I just eliminate this altogether? And this has really changed the way that we've spent, uh, you know, our group has spent our time. Before we were working so hard on every nitnoid little piece of it that we were sort of getting bogged down and now we definitely have more time for the things that matter. We've actually had an increase in, uh, in clients. We have a couple of new clients, but the potential clients out there because of the shifted mindset and because of the refocused portions that we've gone through has actually increased. So the potential is crazy and we're very excited about that. Um, I was looking at the things that uh, we could accomplish ourselves. And I was honestly, it never, I didn't know how to get into the realm of hiring a new employee. And so through this class, uh, through this portion, through the discussions that we had, it really opened my eyes to the idea of, you know, there is a process for bringing people on that can help you out as needed. And then you can transition them on to full time. And so one of the things that we were, that was limiting us was the ability to grow employees that, in, in a way that we were happy with. And so now I feel like that was, that was huge. <laughs> so we're ready to bring on, bring on people. Now we have processes in place. Before uh, we didn't, I, I hadn't gone through um, the exercise of writing down how to onboard a client, how to make sure that they had all of the things that they needed to be successful and we had all the things that we needed to be successful. And so going through this, uh, now when we have a discussion with a client, we know how to have that 30 minute conversation with the contract where we go from there, uh, where they should be bringing back to us. Um, it's just a much more fluid process. And going back to, you know, potentially hiring a new employee, I know what that looks like now. I know, you know, the, the contracts, the 1099s, all of that is in place. And uh, it just, it's a huge success for us because now we can go forward. I would highly recommend this program to people. You have to be in the right mindset, though. They have to be, um, first off, honest about where they are, honest about where they want to go, and then open to sometimes the tough criticisms on the reason that you aren't getting to where you want to go. The big one is it really means to own our shit. <laughs> I know they say that a lot, and it's probably not what you want to put on the blog. But ultimately, you know, you're the, you're the captain of your ship. You're driving this thing. And so you're you're responsible for the wins. Obviously, that's what everybody wants to see. But you're also responsible for the inefficiencies and for the failures and the struggles and the time sucks and all the good things also come along with it. Um, and but as the CEO, you really have to take a step back and take stock of the good stuff and the bad stuff and know that whatever those things are, it's a, you know, it's a reflection of your own culture. So uh, that was a, it was a big eye opener and a, a good reality check.